Hi, kids. All right. Um, back to our lovely, beautiful equation. F times T equals change in V. Remember, this is impulse, change in momentum. Uh, remember, this is the force that is causing the momentum to change. This is the time that this force is applied that causes the momentum to change. Okay. Um, now, there are certain cases where our momentum change is going to be constant no matter what. So that this side is a constant number. You know, an example of this, okay, let's say that uh, I have a baseball, a not so soft softball coming at me and I need to stop it. Well, if I just stick my hand out and I go, bam, and I stop it real fast versus stick my hand out and cradle it to stop it, uh, the momentum change of my baseball is the same because it's going from some momentum to no momentum. Um, in your car, if you get in an accident um, and you're not wearing your seatbelt versus wearing your seatbelt, you will go from some momentum to no momentum. So your momentum change is going to be a constant number. Okay, so most of the time, our constant impulse case, we are talking about this is going from something, some momentum, to mo no momentum. So if this side is constant, so if Okay, if that is constant, uh, then if you increase the time, that is going to decrease the force. So if this side is constant, so I'm trying to keep this side the same, if I make this bigger, that has to make that smaller. Okay? If my change in MV is constant, then the reverse has to be true. If you make the time smaller, then the force must be bigger. Okay, so let's talk about a real life scenario where this is true. Let's use our not so soft softball, you know, for an example, or, you know, yeah, let's use our not so soft softball. If I uh, take and I just put my hand up to catch my not so soft softball, so it comes here and I don't move my hand back, it just goes bam. Okay, the change in momentum for my not so soft softball, the change in momentum, is going to occur in a very small amount of time. Therefore, this change in momentum, if this is small, I have to experience a big force on my hand and the ball in order for the change in momentum to stay the same. Okay, whereas if I take my hand and I bring it back, that is increasing the time that it takes to stop. Therefore, the force is going to be less. So if you were to ask, if I was to ask, well, why did you want to cradle something? You should say, well, this is an example of a constant momentum change. Or if you like, remember, change of momentum is the same as impulse. So this is an example of our constant impulse by cradling it, you are increasing the time that it takes to stop. Therefore, there'll be less force acting on you. All right. Bye, kids.